All right, so what do we got here? Looks like two new computers. Yeah, we have two new computers. This is a brand new Asus Zephyrus S. Of course, you know the world famous Zephyrus, super thin, but only in 17 inch version. Asus said, hey, a lot of people like these 15 inch laptops. We are going to make a 15 inch version that the name Zephyrus belongs on, and this is what we have. This is the Zephyrus S. It's got all the Zephyrus-like features. I'm gonna show you, of course, the signature move. Check it out, watch this. Yep, that little vent hinge. The little vent hinge helps you suck in air, keeps the laptop cooler, keeps it thinner. In fact, they say it's probably the thinnest one out there, and let's find out, because I have next to it the Razer 15, which Razer, of course, says is the smallest 15-inch gaming laptop. I can believe them because it's tiny. It does have these pretty big, thick feet, though, to keep it elevated so it cools off. Do you count that or do you not count that? I don't count it because, you know, if you were to lay it upside down, you'd get a better sense. But it's a little tough with this caliper because I'm not going to get all the way to the middle of the body. What do we got there? We got about maybe 17.8 millimeters. All right. Zephyrus, same thing. We're not going to get all the way to the center, but it's a fairly flat design. That's true, and you're not opening it up. I'm so not this opening is closed, it. closed, so it's fair. This is closed, so we're both closed. Uh, about 16.3 millimeters. So, so dethroned. Well, I mean, you know, I think Razer is saying we're smaller because it depends on what the definition of smaller is because it is still smaller. It might actually be smaller by volume because it's definitely, you have the, the Zephyrus is larger. Um, don't want to talk about the blade too much, but I want to do point out to people on the 1070 Max Q version, you get a bigger bottom. Okay. So the, what they do is that the bigger bottom lets them put in the bigger GPU, more cooling, etc. But this we're talking one, about the Asus. We are talking about the Asus, the Zephyrus S, backed by not popular demand apparently, but because they need to, is the side-mounted trackpad. Personally, I like the side-mounted trackpad. The original Zephyrus. It was like this. You had the keyboard here, you had your side-mounted trackpad, but then on the Zephyrus M, which was the updated version with Coffee Lake, the keyboard back went back up to here and the trackpad went here. With the Zephyrus S, Asus said, hey, we need that space for the cooling and the GPU and the CPU and all that, so we're going to move the keyboard back. So we got the trackpad on the side. You, of course, do you get your cool little 10 key for somebody. So the need in accounting. The keyboard itself is four zone, four zone. RGB, so not per key. Uh, inside, of course, Coffee Lake, i7. Asus is not going to put an i9 in here. This is, uh, yeah, we know, we're not going to play that game. i7 is great for gaming. So six core Coffee Lake H. GPU options, 1060 or 1070 Max Q. Eight gigs of the motherboard. One single M.2 slot inside. Not fun to get into, of course, but it looks like there's some like kind of venting or what's going on behind underneath oh, that? Oh, so there's, I think there's additional venting. There's some for speakers. Uh, the other thing that's really kind of different with the Zephyrus is uh, people have started complaining, oh, we think the body shell is a little thin. So they actually made this, check out, we have really narrow bezels. Oh wait, screen, 1080p, 144 hertz, three millisecond gray to gray, no G-Sync, mostly for battery life, of course, right? Uh, but let's get into this. They say, a lot of people said, oh, the original Zephyrus is a little lightweight. We want something heavier duty. So what Asus does with this is they start with, look at that. Well, that's pretty solid. Nice chunk of aluminum, aircraft grade, because apparently all those aluminum cans in the world go somewhere else. And then it takes about 17 minutes, somebody mills out from this solid piece of aluminum billet to get this nice cover. They don't actually have uh, any drop spec, mill spec ratings yet, but they are currently gonna get them. They actually think they may get this gaming laptop to get a, a, a mill spec drop rating. And you can see all the intricate, solidly milled details of the cover. So the, the lesson is, we heard you, we, you wanted a thicker body on the Zephyrus. So the Zephyrus S, actually pretty thick. So it's actually, how much does it weigh? There are some laptops. Uh, so this is about 4.6 pounds. Okay. Uh, not the lightest, but it actually feels very solid. The lightest that I've seen, of course, is the GS65 MSI. Lovely, lovely laptop, but you do wonder about how it's gonna hold up if you grab it by the corner. This one feels pretty solid. Doesn't feel like it's gonna fold up on me. You wanna show off the ports? What, yeah, what let's ports do the port. People love the ports. People love the ports. Um, USB. Uh, 5 gig, I believe, 
a USB 10 gig and a USB C. Uh, looks like Display Port as well on the back. HDMI 2.0, a Kensington lock. The other side, we get our proprietary or standard ASUS barrel charger. I will show you the power brick in a second. Another USB 3.1 10 gig port and then two Type A's uh, and a Courage analog audio port. Interestingly, there is no Thunderbolt 3 port on here. They said, uh, we're not going to put it on there. I'm not sure why. I guess it makes sense. Who's really using Thunderbolt 3 in, in this gaming laptop form factor? It should have enough graphics inside already. Yeah, it should have plenty of graphics. And of course, the reason is all of this cooling. Uh, they actually bought, brought by this nifty demo unit of the cooling that's inside this laptop. Let's not scratch it. But put the fans in place. Clearly, this is the GPU side. You can see the array for the GDDR5 memory. This is uh, probably for 1060 or 1070 Max-Q. And then what we get is this array. It's super thin. They actually said they added, I believe, 12 more blades into the, into the fans to increase airflow, probably at a lower RPM. Also, the fans here are 12-volt uh, motors. So they said, hey, we're using 12-volt motors. So they, uh, they say they can drive them at higher RPMs than a five volt motor that other people might use. And look at that, we get basically, looks like three shared heat pipes for the CPU and GPU. And then each of the, and then the GPU and CPU also get their own separate heat pipe. And of course, on this side, as we're seeing the uh, cooler for the memory. So you get a little bit of heat sink on that uh, other fan on the right side, I believe, which actually is in here like, this. Is that right? Or did I flip it over the wrong way? No, that's correct. So this does have dust channels. A little hard to see, but I believe they have these little dust channels that dust is supposed to be blown out of in here to, to lower dust. No dust bunnies. Yeah, it keeps on, you know, because you don't want to take this thing apart to surface it to get yeah. the dust out of it. We, people do live in dusty climates and it is a serious issue. We all laugh about it, but it is real. So of course, that's a crap load of heat pipes, crap load of copper, um, that's what lets them run a 1060, 1070 Max Q and a Coffee Lake i7 in here. I haven't tested it, but I got a good feeling it's gonna it's gonna beat up the Core i9 MacBook Pro pretty easily, right? Let's uh, let's let's be honest about that. Panel <clears throat> again, 144 hertz, three millisecond gray to gray, no G-Sync for battery life, but interestingly, battery capacity is about 50 50 watt hours. I want to make sure I get that right. Let's look it up. 50 watt hours, which is a little bit on the small side. So like on the Gigabyte Aero 15, 15X, they're putting in 97 watt hour, huge batteries. Some of the other batteries seen are about 80. So I think the battery life of this is gonna be... That's pretty low, yeah. Not the greatest, but you don't have G-Sync, which doesn't kill batteries, so it's probably reasonable, you know. You're plugging this one in though. You're keeping it plugged in. You're keeping it plugged in, and they have the new Armory Crate control panel that lets you sync up all the LEDs. You got the LED logo on back. If you have the brand new uh, ASUS headset, it will also sync up the colors of that. This power brick is pretty big though, I gotta say. This is a 230 watt power brick, which is pretty normal in a 1070 Max-Q laptop, but it's pretty thick. Let's compare it to the Razer. Razer's definitely, yeah. it's not, it's, I mean. They're not drastically it's different. It's more of an optical illusion. I Curve, gotta say, yeah. they're probably about the same weight, but it just looks like, oh, this looks giant, but it probably, they're pretty the comparable. Razer's large. They're, yeah, comparable. It's, they're comparable, so not that bad. So, 15 inches. Uh, nope. We know how much it's gonna cost. Yeah, so one thing I don't know is how much it's gonna cost. How much was imagine, last year's? Last year's, if you're in a 1070 Max-Q, it's up over 2K. I imagine it's gonna be very similar. It is a premium, super thin gaming laptop. I mean, look at this. Let's, let's just take this out again. It is, I mean, that is just super portable. But if you can't afford this one. But if you can't afford it, Asus said, hey, we got this, which is the brand new GL704. Let me make sure I got that right here because I, there's a lot of numbers. Yep, yeah. GL704GM. This one looks, why does this one look nicer than this one almost? Oh, it's just because it's an optical illusion from the color okay. because you like this well, you get lighter brushed, color you get than a darker color. Okay. It is it looks like a brushed aluminum lid. Yeah. I'm not even sure it is. It may actually be a uh, faux aluminum. Because this is obviously a more cost-conscious gaming laptop. 17-inch <clears throat> panel, 144 hertz, three millisecond gray to gray. Uh, it's a, a VA panel. It is not G-Sync as well. It's not G-Sync again. But so is, is it the same panel as the other one? It's it's a, they're Similar. both AU AU uh, panels made by AU Optronics. 
they make the panel for both of those. So they, 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 they work with them to get the, that response rate to just be just super excellent. Of course, obviously, you got your Watson keys that are lit up. The keys uh, do light up. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, so RGB keys as well? Or is it? These are, this is zone lighting as well. It's okay. not per key, I believe. I can't light it up. One of the problems is this is an early unit, so all the functionality in the software is not quite there. Uh, Coffee Lake, six core, uh, up to 16 gigs, one M.2, 2.5 inch dry bay, and I'm gonna guess two sodiums for your DDR4 memory. And, and with a keyboard up to the top, so it's a little bit different. Yeah, so this is a more of a conventional laptop, as you can see. It's thicker, right? I, I, too bad I can't light this up because this looks like it lights up here. Uh, it's about six pounds, kind of a standard issue, you know. You know, yeah. gaming four factor for 17 inch. And I gotta say, for people who like don't like 17 inch gaming laptops, if your eyes aren't that great, 15 inch gaming laptops are not fantastic to play on. It's nicer to get onto a bigger panel if you're a little bit older and you don't have the vision for it. Let's do the ports. Mm -hmm. Again, no Thunderbolt 3, maybe controversial. A micro SD, or actually a SD slot, USB-C 10 gig, another USB type A, probably five gig, Kensington lock, courageous analog audio port, three type A's, HDMI 2.0, mini display port, 10 gig ethernet, and then of course your standard barrel charger. It is another 230 watt. Wait, is that watt. 10 gig ethernet or just regular? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, don't get me excited. excited. Yeah, you're getting gig. me excited there. It is, it is gigabit ethernet. Uh, we are not to the days of 10 gig ethernet on a laptop yet, so. And it is plastic in construction. That doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's not going to have the same premium feel as the uh, Zephyrus S, of course. That is a nice laptop. But, you know, their pitch is like, you're going to college. Your parents may not want to drop uh, 2K on a gaming laptop for you to take. No pricing on this one exactly. But well, what are you thinking? I'm going to think, you know, 1060 Coffee Lake, 16 gig, 256 to 512. You know, 12 probably, you know, 1200 bucks, 1300 bucks. It's hard yes. to say. Um, there, uh, it is only a 1060 version, but you know, concerning the size of this chassis, um, you could obviously put a bigger GPU in there if they wanted to, but probably for cost, uh, the 1060 makes a lot more sense. Um, yeah. No G-Sync, interestingly. Oh, and 60 watt hour battery. So you're gonna get slightly, possibly better battery life than the Zephyrus S, but you know, it is a bigger panel, all things not being equal. It may get similar battery life in the end. Cool, when do you think they're coming out? Any, uh, any guesses? They're going to be announced, I think, this week, today. And, of course, you know, probably available for order very soon, which is not definite. I didn't do my homework.